tiger. Sometimes we cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller number. In that case, can you tell me how to subtract the decimals? No, I have no clue. You have to show me how it's done. Subtraction of decimals with borrow. Introduction. What is 1.2 minus 0 0.5? We write the numbers in the place value chart. We write 1.2 as 1 ones and 2 tenths and 0 0.5 as 0 ones and 5 tenths. When we cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller number, we borrow from the left column. Now we start subtracting the tenths column. Here we cannot subtract 5 from 2. So we borrow from the left column, which is the ones column. When we do this, 1 ones becomes 0 ones and we get 1 to the tenths column. So now we have 12. Now we can easily subtract 5 from 12, which is 7 in the tenths place. We place the decimal point. Since we borrowed the 1 from 1, the 1 has become 0. So when we subtract 0 from 0, we get 0 in the 1's place. The answer is 0 0.7. So 1.2 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.7. What is 6.6 .6 minus 1.8? We write the numbers in the place value chart. We write 6.6 .6 as 6 ones and 6 tenths and 1.8 as 1 ones and 8 tenths. Now we start subtracting the tenths column. Here we cannot subtract 6 from 8. So we borrow from the left column which is the ones column. When we do this, 6 ones become 5 ones and we get 1 to the tenths column. So now we have 16. Now we can easily subtract 8 from 16, which is 8 in the tenths place. We place the decimal point. Since we borrowed the 1 from 1, the 6 has become 5. So when we subtract 1 from 5, we get 4 in the 1's place. The answer is 4.8. So 6.6 .6 minus 1.8 is equal to 4.8. So the rule to remember here is that when we cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller number, we borrow from the left column. I totally got it. Thank you, Apu.